Hello, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and uh, welcome to what we automated this week without hotkey. Now, let me use, I'm using, using Prompt Assistant here to launch, because now we can launch scripts and do stuff with it. It's really cool how simple that was. Uh, recently modified HK files. So this is going across my, um, I think my C drive, basically, but the, or maybe it's my B drive, for all, which is my Dropbox drive, of all the auto hockey files. So there's 45 files found that we've updated in the last week, last six days, I think. So uh, this is a web scraping project for one of our clients. Those two there running Windows apps. Now, I just recorded a video on this, but basically someone commented on one of our videos and they wanted to launch Spotify but they were doing it with sending keystrokes and stuff. And, and even though I, I understand we're not all in the same place when we use auto hotkey, but um, there's a, you know, I, I try almost never to send keystrokes. It's just a really bad approach. So I demonstrated, let's see if I can pull it. I think the script's still open here in the V2 version. Here's how you do it with um, auto hotkey uh, in V2. And I have a V1 version, but it's, it's pretty simple. And you can just get the word, the name of the app you're trying to launch shove it in here. This is the function. You probably want to put this in your library somewhere. You can ref refer to it later. And that way you just provide the name. And in that video I just recorded, I walked through how to get a list of names. I had like over 150, I think, apps on my computer that I could call from this approach. But yeah, it's a, it's a great, simple way to do it. Um, cleaning subtitles. So we we're working on, and I'll show it here in a little bit, of getting the subtitles, dumping them all into a database, and then having a search that goes across all of our database, also with the titles, tags, descriptions, and subtitles, which on YouTube, when you do a search, you don't search in the subtitles, right? And if we didn't tag our video in a certain way or put it in the titles, it wouldn't show up. And so especially we did, you know, I think there's at least a year's worth where there's one each week of live streams over an hour each live stream where we solve people's problems. And so we probably have videos on some of the topics you're looking for, but if you don't, you know, know if you can't search this way, you wouldn't find that. So um, now the funny thing with this is that we also notice, I'll say, hi, this is Joe and Isaiah's and it'll come up with some crazy or Joe lines and it'll say drug lines. It's like, yeah, that's awesome. So we have a script that looks at all of our subtitles, tries to clean them up a bit, um, does a decent job. And it's not, of course, nothing's perfect. Uh, Prompt pal, this one's really getting, we're getting there. Uh, let me let me open the folder now. I'm not sure what version I'll be launching here, but um, that's all right. This is an auto suggester and you can turn on and off what word list you want it to be looking at. Now we actually changed this version. This isn't the most recent version. Um, the new version, let me, let me close, let me exit out of it, which, ooh, not that guy. Um, the new version, has a default script, so it makes it really, really easy. Let me exit out of that guy, too. Makes it very easy to um, select code, and there's a default. So here's the default word list, and we have hotkeys, and we're going to move this. It's getting a little cluttered, right? But um, you can select text, and then at so Control-Shift-Insert, apparently, right now. So if I select, I don't know if it's going to work in here, because that... that Let's do it right from an edit box. So ah, let's just do this, right? So control shift insert. That should have added it um, to, which we should have a notification there. And maybe, maybe it didn't work. I don't know. Um, so now when I start typing top, to, oh, it did work. So see these, it starts, it, it added those. If I had done this before, um, it wouldn't, this would not have been in the list. And then I can select it this way. Oh, can't I? Oh, we're going to have to work on that. Um, but really, it's meant to be, you keep your hands on the keyboard, right? So top 10, I can arrow to it and then hit enter and it will dump it in. So imagine how cool this will be. You don't even have to create hot strings, right? You can build this thing. You can have lists. And that's what I really like about this tool right now is you can add lists. You just, you can either drag them as a file onto here or hit add and go to a path of a, some sort of a text file right now. We're limiting it that, but we're going to change that to like CSV and, and and just say you have to select text files. And if they don't come back properly, we're, you know, that's the problem is everyone gives things different extension names, right? For text files, but you get the idea. Um, it's very cool. It's dynamic. You can choose if you want a fuzzy match, which is really like the order of characters. So if I wanted to, I can see, I can start typing T, 
one D, and because there was the t- top ten downloads, right, that is showing up. So it's sort of fuzzy. We we looked into trying to make it really fuzzy where they're anywhere, and it's just it's mayhem, and it also really impedes performance. But this alone, if I do a little bit of a typo, as long as I don't make it too bad, it can uh, it can find what I'm looking for, even if I can't spell it perfectly, right? Which I think is really cool. So there's that. We're also building some other cool stuff into it to say, look at your most recently used files and folders if you want. So those will be checkboxes you can enable or disable. You can tell it you want to, this is like an in list. So it looks for that word exactly. So if I type scripts, it's going to look, it's got to be spell. I can't, if I misspell it, it's not going to come up with the right things, right? So it has to, this is why I don't like it, is you have to get it just right. Script. I might just have to start over. Script. Hello. There we go. So it does work, you know, when you spell it properly, but if I misspell it, it won't work. So that's why I don't like the in list or the exact. Um, You can do a left, so you'd have to start from the left, but I, I really don't like that at the right also. But, you know, by most, I think the fuzzy is definitely going to be the way you can do it. You can turn on case and civility or not. You can also, we have hotkeys to, if I'm tired of this thing, I can hit control shift A and that'll, disable the suggestions because sometimes you just don't want those on um, and then here you can say how many characters that I have to wait for we, we made it between one which would be crazy but still it might work um, you might want that for especially for very quick instances um, or up to like I don't think you'd want any like that you might as well type out what you're doing unless you have sentences right we also added a way to have line returns in your code but um I'll wait to make a custom video on that when, when we're actually done so that's that script so again, I think that's still, yeah, this is all related to it. So that's what we were working on that. It's getting, it's coming in shape. We should, I think next week, maybe a week after, have something to release. We got to do some more testing there. Uh, auto suggestions, so we're adding the hotkeys. Clip share, yeah, that's still a private script. It allows us to share our clipboard between me and Isaiah and Irfan and Rizwan. Well, we got to add Rizwan. Uh, maybe that's why, maybe that's why it's here. Maybe they actually added him. Uh, I can... Let's see here. I can hit. We also use it as an instant messenger. There we go. So right now, yeah, Irfan. Yeah, it's funny, Irfans. No, there's just one. Um, but I can do this, or actually I can even message myself. And this will go just to me, right? But um, it's a great way to alert until you click it. It stays there. That like, hey, I'm trying to sometimes... Like, let's say Isaiah is in the middle of, um, he's doing something in Telegram, which is what we use mostly to communicate each other. It doesn't always let us know that you got a message. Um, sometimes it'll just be, if you're on that last person, it doesn't make a noise or do any notification. It's really annoying. So we just change this where it does it. But the really cool thing is I can select something or a file, copy it, and then they can paste, which is really cool. Uh, but again, that's right now an internal tool. Get active pattern. This one I really like. That's the this gap. <laughs> script right here that's the icon so i can be in any tool and i can hit Control shift c i shouldn't say any tool but i can be in site i can open up studio and i can say Control shift c notice and here when i paste let's uh when i paste that's the path to this file right so it's really cool because you probably have one like if i'm an explorer and i hit Control shift c and i think windows 11 built this in now but um our tool is really cool because you can even be in Word, which is one of the reasons why we created this thing, because it was driving me nuts. I could be in um, a Word file, and getting the path of this file is not easy. It's ridiculous. Whatever, I'm not going to swear. It's like a Microsoft, just come on. But if I hit Control-Shift-C, I can now get the path of that file instantly. So if I want to upload this or share it with somebody, it's super easy. So... Um, that's, I might make it even where if it's you hit control shift, like let's say D, it would open that directory of where that file is because often I actually want to go to the folder. Um, so that might be another one we might tweak with that. But yeah, that's a cool tool that hopefully next week we'll we'll upload it as a, a way to download it. It's very, I think that's really awesome. Um, we, we have a list of programs as in, but it's all of Office programs and then um, a lot of editors. It also, if it we didn't build it in, then it looks at the title. So like, and I don't know, I still can't click. 
uh, notify me too. I'm surprised that changed. So that's our that's the the, like the notifications you've seen on screen. We have a great video on that if you're interested in that one. It has even things like callbacks. You can have it wait for it to display, and then when you click it, it takes an action, or you can have it play a sound. Um, you can have it do a lot of things. It's really cool. Uh, but get path just talked about this one. Hey, we just launched a new course. Now this new course is not at all related to AutoHotKey. It's just about using a computer more than a word processor, right? It's something like the name of it's like avoiding PC incompetence. So when I used to work in corporate America, the vast majority of the people I'd work with, I'd look around and like they were using it like a typewriter, like it was crazy. So the thing is, people don't really teach you how to use a computer. They teach you how to do things on it, but not how to be efficient using it. So our course is about four hours long. And it, it teaches you a lot of the little stuff. Hey, here's a list. How can I, how can I, you know, select multiple things in different ways? How can I, you know, get, get a group? How can I select words from here to the end without, you know, having to manually do it? How can I go to the beginning and get all of it, right? There's lots of little shortcuts, four hours worth, right? And then as they said, a great job of just slowly walking you through it to both explain the goal, walk through how to do it stuff. So it's a really good course. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty slick. So, so anyway, we added it to here. Also, we added, he added it where now it organizes the, the list of HTML stuff a little better. The search replace in Word. I think I covered that last week, so I'm not going to open that. Um, I made another minor tweak to it, but nothing major. Prompt Assistant, like you see, it's coming along. It's looking really cool. Now you can launch um, auto hockey stuff with it. We add, oh yeah, one other, let me, let me pull it up here and say customize. Uh, one simple thing we said, oh, if I want this up above now, if you control click, it'll just bump it to wherever you want it to go, which wasn't a thing the other day. And the search is now I can search for, I can see this will filter it. And I get a little um, list of where I am with the things. So yeah, you get an idea. Uh, it's got a breadcrumb kind of thing. So those are some, some tweaks we added to it. And of course the ability to have sub menus. So this like here, control shift X. If I hit control shift X, it starts at the Excel sub menu. So this is my Excel library. We've already added to it, right? Which is available for download. Uh, but yeah, if you come in here, you'll see I can, I can call up here, click this and then jump to it. But that means I have to click this bigger window first then here. Now, if I just hit control shift X, I'm at that sub menu, which I had told Isaiah early on, this is a must have, like once you get used to it, it's really cool because you might work in something for a little while and you want to add another shortcut. So it's uh, it's really cool. You can easily import and export things and share with other people. So that's one of the big, big benefits of it. All right, let's go back to this tool. <sighs> yeah, well, we pulled from this one, the screen locker. I asked Rizwan to um, update this into V2. Oh, here's the V2 version. Now, I don't want to test it because if it doesn't work, I have to reboot. Um, but what it does is it will kill, let's go ahead and edit it. It will kill the power to the screens. That's what this does. Um, so you hit the hotkey, it kills the power, um, and then it puts a little sleep to keep killing it. But then you can use a hotkey like apps key U, or I think I have numpad zero will unlock it and feed up. Well, what's cool is like you can, um, I also disable most, not all, but most, and I, I have most of the keys here, but I disable most of the hotkeys so people can't mess with your, it's like locking your computer, um, but it, it it allows you to have a hotkey to just unlock it. So we're going to have to do some testing. I haven't a chance to test this yet because like I said, if, if, it, if you can't unlock it, you have to reboot. It's really annoying. So I don't want to lose work I'm working on. So yeah, I haven't tested it yet, but that's that one. I use that. 10 times a day, easily, probably 20. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, our automator database, um, I think that, I think that pulls from our data. Yeah, well, that's right. We updated the SQL queries we were doing to kind of make it easier for, for pulling some stuff, to getting a list of our downloads and things. Um, our discovery tool, Irfan, both the, the automator discovery tool and the ultimate spy, let me launch this one because I can just demonstrate here. So when we drag this somewhere, now they're sorted. So the simplicity, it's easiest to hardest, right? So that way 
you start looking on what's easiest to work with. And so before we didn't have that. Uh, I don't think we made any other changes to it. So both the Ultimate Spy and this one. This one just allows you to know very quickly which ones are available. The Ultimate Spy has this tool embedded in it, but then it allows you to actually, you know, we have a drop down that you can choose from the different inspection tools. It's an amazing, uh, amazing tool. Um, also, if that script was running as an admin, it will warn you ahead of time of like, hey, that script's an admin. You need to launch a script as an admin or, you know, do something to get around that. I don't. Oh, this is actually, this is for our courses on the automator. Yeah. Isaiah, he recorded a little video demonstrating how he uses them, but it, it, it automates putting the videos and the courses on the automator. Um, yeah. So that's an internal tool. Subtitle search. Now let's see. I don't know if this is the folder. Let me try and run it. I haven't. Yeah. Okay. So this is that tool I was mentioning earlier. I can search, let's say, for message box. Hit enter. And it will, these are the videos that I have message box either in the title. We can click advance and I can choose on a time frame or description or whatever. Normally you want to search everything, right? And then these are different videos. But then I can say, hey, let's click this. <laughs> Found double to open one. That's funny. Let's try one of the other ones. Uh-oh. Looks like our database for whatever reason. Oh, the count's really low. Um, but and I don't I haven't run this myself. As has been working on it. Uh, let's try a different thing. Let's just he always types hey, and then there's a lot. So here are are the actual timestamps of when hey or or a word with hey like they, it's probably picked up in that. And then you can double click it and it will open that video at that time. I can hit pause here. So it's going to make it very easy for people to find more content on from our videos. And then later we'll adjust it to incorporate other channels, videos, and even sell our tool. I don't know why this is not loading. This has nothing to do with the script. The, um, there we go. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, this is good because we have 1400 videos right on YouTube. So it's going to be very, very cool. Uh, and here's a timestamp. Yeah. Here's the date of when it was done. So that's an oldie 2011. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's, I would probably say, Hey, let's start with the top. <laughs> um, Hey, look, simple spy. Cool. And that's interesting is it almost looks like 27,000 times. Wow. Okay. Weird. But um, you get the idea, right? It's going to be a very cool tool. We're, we're going to have to also figure out how to keep it updated. That'll be an interesting thing to work through. Uh, but yeah, that one's, we're getting there. That's the advanced search. I think there's a bunch of those that all has to do with that one. It's my made out of hockey script. This is the file we're running right now. Uh, the registry MRU. So that most recently used files. A lot of people don't realize that Windows automatically tracks that. And you can disable it. I disable it on mine. I just personally don't like having it there. Um, however... With our auto, our um, Pomp Pal tool, where I'm going to build it, where it will go check that, and honestly, that will be a biggest, a bigger, a big enough benefit that I'll want to have that. So I'll probably name it. However, we're going to build a second tool that'll make it very easy to go clear those out, or even say, hey, never copy something from this folder or this path. Right, everything beneath it shouldn't be stored in there, because you know we are constantly creating videos um, live from our computers. And let's say we had a competitor name or something or our client's name or something with the path and they don't want it shared. I could easily add that to exclusion and then I don't have to worry about accidentally sharing that. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is just one for, I, I have scripts for downloading videos and, and for blocking things and stuff. And this is the one I just, I mentioned at the top. Uh, I had a, both a V1 and a V2 version which are very similar, um, but watch that video, check it out. So hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, we try to do videos like three times a week. And we now we, we got a new guy just started recently. It's uh, 2024 and we're going to have an awesome time. Hope you liked the video. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We're, we're approaching 10,000 subscribers, which would be really cool to hit that. That'll be a nice new uh, landmark to, to get. But um, awesome. Have a great day. Cheers.